the Silly Isles Noises Chase is next. It's yet another grade one. Who knows, right? I'm sure we have that many grade ones, really, do we? In real life. In jumping as we have on SO7. Anyway, two two miles, four and a half furlongs. There's only five in this. Novice Chasers, always flying David Hooney. Black Peppermint from Paul Parsons taking on the big boys at their own game. Kraskin Avenue, Darren Thompson, Man of Lord Leon Van Rensburg and the Witch Queen, Joshua Sutherland. So everybody who's not involved with one of these stables will be cheering on Paul Parsons as he takes on the big guns. Short run to the first. Over that ditch. And if Paul Parsons win this, it'll be like the Fair Islands winning the World Cup. But anyway, they get to the second. That's not being disrespectful to Paul Parsons. He's in his first season and he's got four of the top trainers up against him in a grade one novice chase where most people, it would appear, put their best horses in as novices. Uh, they get over the third and the one, two, three quickly. Comes about. Uh, one, two, three, four comes about even quicker as that was there. Railways, of course. They're going to head down all the pond fence now. And it's the Witch Queen who's clearing the lead by six. I think it's really Gerard got win this race. Make a change. He's won everything else today, just about. And always flying his second. And Craskend Avenue is third. Manor Lord is fourth. And Black Peppermint is back in fifth. So heading to the pond then. All over it nicely. And Black Peppermint already struggling to go the pace towards the rear. It's the Witch Queen in the lead and don't forget some of these novices have had some difficulties jumping this season so it's not beyond the realms of possibility that they all fall over and leave Black Peppermint to pick it up on his own. They get over the second last. The next one should be a split ditch but I'm sure it won't be. It'll be just a ditch. It is just a ditch and they get over that one so that means we're going to be taking a ditch for the final fence. I think Grey rebuilt this course at some point. That must have been way back in the SO6 days. Actually got the water jump back in the right place as well. I think we could have a little bit more accuracy on one or two of these big tracks. When SO8 comes out, I appreciate you probably can't get the likes of faking them and Newton Abbott exactly right because it'd just be too much to do all of them. But these big courses, when you've got the big grade one races and group one races, it would be good if we got the fences in the right place. Sandown is actually one of the better ones because you at least get the, the railways and the pond and then that little double in there with the well, the fences down the back are not exactly correct and that last fence should be a ditch one side and a plain fence the other so they take the ditch in the normal part of the race and then the plain fence when it's the last fence well, these rules of racing that a lot of people don't know how they are. You're not allowed to have an open ditch as the first fence. You're not allowed to have an open ditch as the last fence. You're not allowed to have the water as the first fence. You're not allowed to have the water as the last fence. Unwritten rule. Well, they're written rules, obviously, but obviously ones that we don't all know about. Anyway, they get over the eighth. And they're all safely over that one, including Black Pigment, who's somewhere adrift. Hopefully we'll finish and pick up fifth place prize money at least. And it's the Witch Queen in the lead from Craskend Avenue as they get over that ditch. Now they'll head shortly to the railways. And if you get the first one right, you normally get them all right. If you get the first one wrong, you don't necessarily survive the three. Everybody jump the first one, okay. Everybody jump the second one, okay. And oh, everybody except for always flying jump the last one okay. So always flying's gone, and all of a sudden Black Peppermint's on for fourth if it stays up on its feet. And it's the Witch Queen in the lead from Craskend Avenue second. Mana Lord is in third, and in a different manner, Black Peppermint is in fourth. And the Witch Queen had it all her own way so far. She races to the third last, which is the pond fence. Jockey has a little look round, see where the rest of them are. Got over it okay. The Witch Queen. Racing into the straight. Two to three lengths clear of Manor Lord in second. Craskend Avenue back in third. Black Peppermint somewhere adrift in fourth over the second last. And the Witch Queen doesn't look like she's stopping at the moment. Hitting down towards this final fence, which is going to be the ditch. And over it they go. And a slow jump by Craskend Avenue. Manor Lord's moved into 
Uh, sorry, my man Lord Crash getting down and he's moving to second, but they're not going to get anywhere near this leader. And the Witch Queen, put as a post, takes it pretty easily for Joshua Sutherland. Second was Crash getting down and third, Manor Lord. And let's see Black Peppermint come round for fourth place in a grade one. There he goes. It's a good bit of change there for Paul Parsons. I think he can say he's had a fourth in a nice grade one in his first season. So the Witch Queen, the winner then for Joshua Sutherland, Crash Kent Avenue second for Darren Thompson, Manor Lord third for Leon Van Rensburg, and Black Peppermint fourth for Paul Parsons.